the screen, I couldn't see. Oh no, look at that. Oh no, it's got like a tree. But I've got GPS on there so I can find it. I hope the camera's not. Vlogging on the RX100 Mark IV today. Can't forget the cable for the drone this time. Whew, chilly today. Right, we are heading out. Got my gear with me, got the drone, got all my camera lenses and my big camera. That's why I'm filming on the Sony. It's because I'm gonna use my big camera to shoot this visual film and get the last bits of footage. And it is so sunny today, it's just awesome. All these autumn colors, epic. Horses, horses. We're halfway there. Halfway pub, get it? I've come to take some visuals. Savanek Forest in Marlborough. And there's still some colour. Yeah, still some colour around. Right, this should be interesting. Right, so I guess you can just park up anywhere in here. Right, guys, we are here in Savanek Forest. But it doesn't really seem like a forest. It's like a long track road with trees going up the side and then there's just fields so I don't know if this is I don't know where to park either this is like a I'm just on the side of the road at the moment I mean the colors are nice because on the internet if you type it in it's like amazing photos but I don't know if I'm in the right place but yeah I'm gonna venture around here and try and get some shots I guess I can go down one of these might find something let's go got a backpack all my gear in. I've got the drone box as well. I'm gonna walk down here, and as you can see over here, there's that bank of trees, um, which I saw from the road. So we're gonna try and walk down this path and get to that. See if there's any good things to shoot there. How's this Sony performing? It's always been a very good camera to vlog on. I do like the look at the Sony's. All right, we've got some color here now. The visual I'm making is called Autumn Leaves, so it's not like Autumn Autumn Full Swing, it's just Autumn Leaves. So even if the trees haven't got any colour on them, they'll be on the ground and stuff and I can still film them. This looks good. No, there's nothing in there. Let's put the camera down. Right, I'm going to use this log. Wow, look at this. It's nice. Such a good day <clears throat> to film some of this stuff because the sun is like piercing through the trees and it's making the ground light up. And all the colours are popping. Pop, pop. Okay, so I'm going to show you what equipment I'm using. That's always good for a behind the scenes video, I think. If I didn't show you that, it would be completely pointless making this video. So, this is what I'm shooting on. I'm shooting on a Canon 7D Mark II. It's not full frame, it's an APS-C size sensor, um, which I do, I kept saying, I keep saying yes, I do want to upgrade to a full frame. Um, I know everyone says, oh, it doesn't matter what you shoot with, you can shoot with whatever, any camera is good. Um, the best camera is the one you have with you. But when you've been doing it for like nearly eight years, you do <laughs> want to upgrade. Um, and it's expected of someone who's been doing this for a long time as in like not just YouTube just you know other stuff that I do outside of YouTube um, with photography they expect your quality to be higher when you've been doing it longer so I think it's time for me to upgrade to a full frame camera soon I'm thinking of one of the Sony's I'm do I'm, I am thinking of switching um, just because they are like 
they basically got everything and they'll be great vlogging cameras and they shoot 4k and awesome like quality footage 42 megapixels on the a7r2 but i am thinking of the a7s2 as well because of the low light capabilities and all that jazz so expect something new to come in the near future right so yeah back to the camera canon 7d mark ii it's got 22 megapixels or something like that um it's like it's not professional it's like camera enthusiast enthusiast level um, the lens I'm using, this is the new lens I've got, picked up probably a month ago now, it's one of the Sigma lenses. I've used Sigma lenses in the past, they are awesome, always quality glass and stuff. Um, but they've got their new Art Series out, and they're a lot less expensive than, you know, your Canons and your Leicas and stuff like that. Um, this one is a 20mm, get ready for this, 20mm 1.4. 20mm 1.4, how insane is that? Only thing though, I'm shooting on a Canon 7D. So that means it's going to be slightly cropped, which you'll, you'll come to about 36 and the aperture does go up to about 2, 3. You have to times it by 1.6, the aperture and um, the focal length as well. So yeah, that's a thing to remember if you're shooting on crop sensors. But yeah, awesome, awesome lens. I'm going to do a video on this um, soon to go over the whole details and I'll do a video or a vlog containing sample footage and pictures and stuff but yeah excellent lens I'm so happy with it so far other lenses I brought along is the 50mm by Canon 50mm 1.4 this is meant for EF sensors as well which is full frame for Canon so this is cropped as well it's about it goes to about 70 70 millimeters if you're on an APS-C size sensor yeah so 1.8 so that'll go up as well but great lens this is a cheap it's called the nifty 50 I always have it in my bag when I go shooting. It's just that awesome, like, kind of dreamy, dreamy, like, magical atmosphere you get out of one of these lenses. So, always great to have. So, last one I've got with me is the another Sigma. This is my old Sigma lens. I used to vlog on this um, lens, believe it or not. Um, the autofocus is crap, so I had to always have it in manual focus. If I like this, I used to autofocus it on the camera, so I hear the beep and then switch it to manual. Because when it's in autofocus, it, like, goes, it's such a horrible judgery sound. I think it's one of the widest lenses in the world for APS-C size sensors, cameras. Um, I don't know if that's changed because this is like a oh good five years old now. Um, 8 to 16, 4.5 to 5.6, and it is meant for APS-C size sensors. So you can get awesome wide angle footage on this. Yeah, so that's my lenses. Also, I've got the drone with me that you know, you guys. Um, now I've got the Phantom 4, wicked drone, love it. Um, had some fun with it in my last video with the against the car and doing awesome stuff in sport mode but today I'm going to focus on getting um, good shots you know composing them properly so I know that's a long talking bit but I just wanted to show you what I'm shooting on so let's get to it Yeah, another thing I want to point out is that these Sigma, len Sigma lenses don't have IS. Um, IS means image stabilization, so it's so hard to get a steady shot with these lenses. And the camera body, also Canon, come on, no IS either. Or um, focus peaking, or any of that stuff comes in with the Canons. Even on the brand new 5D Mark IV, it doesn't have those things. Um, and then we got Sony over here killing it with a 5-axis stabilization, paired with the lens though, Sony, Sony lens. Um, yeah, I don't have a lens on, it's only 3 axes I think, correct me if I'm wrong, but anyway that is some sort of IS. With the Canon and Sigma lenses, come on guys, like we need IS, it does help a lot. I've come back when shooting a load of footage and it's just all shaky and stuff and it, like it does annoy you. So yeah, hope to see IS soon from Canon. I'm trying to be as steady as I can, doing the, the heel to toe movement on my feet while walking and being extra steady. This is all handheld, by the way. I don't have a stabilizer, so that's the thing. It's so much easier to have IS in the camera and don't fork out nearly a grand for a bloody stabilizer. Because that's why we need it in the cameras, guys. Right, I think it's time. I'm just doing all this by myself. This is hard with Hannah not here because she holds the camera normally. So, one man today. <laughs> Shit. 
Okay, the drone's crashed. I had like 10% left. I was trying to get it back. And like it disconnected the um the screen, I couldn't see. Oh no, look at that. Oh no, it's got like a tree. But I've got GPS on there so I can find it. I hope the camera's not. Where are you? They're saying it's right here somewhere. I hope it's not in a tree. Oh no. Come on, where are you? Okay, see that blue dot? That's me. The drone's a red arrow. I'm getting closer to it. Okay, getting closer, getting closer. Come on. Right on it. Oh my god. It's there. Oh, shit. Wow. That's bold. Oh, shit. It's damage. Okay, this is bad. Oh, look at that. No freaking way. That's like cracked. Damage there as well. No way. The drone is f***ed. Okay, so I was getting a shot. I finished the shot. Then I came back. This is when it was like 15%. Um, it was going to be the beeping sound. So I flew it back as quickly as I can. And I was way above the trees. Way above the trees. And then all of a sudden, the on the app, it just went blank. Look at my previous video that it's like, it just goes off. I can't see the screen. I don't know if it's something to do with the app. Um, or anything like that, my signal, I've got 4G, always cuts out. I just don't understand. The, the app is, I don't know what's wrong with it. I hear this like loud bang, this crack into a tree. And I thought, oh my God, that's the drone. And I heard it going, bzzz, all the propellers and everything. I'm going to have to look back on the footage to see what actually happened there. Hopefully it was still recording. I think it was. Hopefully I haven't lost any footage. All this seems intact though. All the SD card and the camera is okay. It's not broken. Um, legs are all right. All the arms are okay, battery, except for one. This is where the damage is. As you can see, it's like cracked. Cracked up like that. And this has popped out as well. This I think I can replace. So I think, all in all, I think it's gonna be all right. I can repair it at a DJI place that they do repairs, I, I don't know. If you know anyone that, that replaces these things or repairs them, do jot a comment down and I can, in the UK by the way, and I'll see if I can get this repaired. But the thing is, this is, if I repaired this thing, it's a whole piece of plastic. That's all joined together, like that. It's the whole top of it, and this is the bottom. So I don't know if they can just replace that. I think it can be done. My first crash, I, it's like, you're always gonna have a drone crash. I knew it was gonna happen at some point, and it happened to me today, when I'm filming a vlog. <sighs> wow. But the shots I got were insane, and I hope they've saved on the SD card. I think they have, I'm pretty sure they have. <sighs> And guys, you know I'm a good drone flyer. All my flights have been successful apart from this one. I'm always careful and cautious and stuff um, when flying. But this time, like the screen... Right, let's have a look at this. The reason why it looks like faded because I was shooting in D-Log. The log for the log mode for DJI so I can adjust the shadows as much as I can and colour grade would be much easier. So that's why I was shooting. Looks awesome though, look at that. All those trees. Right, so I was just. There, here it is. Okay, I was finishing up a shot, and I think this is where I got the the battery warning. So, I, yeah, this is it. I flew it, back, flew it around, and at, at this point, the screen was like cutting out constantly. So, I didn't know which way I was pointing, and I couldn't see the GPS map either because it was just all fuzzy and stuff, and it kept on like cutting out, going black. So, this is me trying to get back. Okay, here we go. I don't know why it's descending because I had it, I had a throttle up in the air to um, keep it from crashing and it only had it pointing forward so I don't know why it's descending. Okay, so here it is. At this point it, the screen was black I think and then it came back. Oh my god. Bang. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I don't know why it descends. That's so odd. Bang. Jeez, that is crazy. Bang. I didn't even have descending. I don't know why it chose to descend. Maybe because it was trying to come home or something like that um, to the location. Um, but I had the throttle like up. 
I was keep pushing it up so it would, it would avoid the trees. Um, I've been looking at some drone repairs um, in the UK and I, I think it is possible. What you do is just send it off, get a quote, and then they fix it, I don't know, within 10, 15 days if they can get the parts. So I'm gonna try that out and then um, I'll update you guys when the drone is back on, when the drone is fixed. But yeah, hopefully it won't cost too much. <laughs> but yes, guys, regarding the visual film, um, this, was, this was meant to be my like, last day filming all of it. I'm glad that I've secured the drone shots though because I went out um, the other week, I got drone shots, I wasn't quite happy with them, So, but these um, are better than the shots I got um, the other week. So I'm pleased with the shots, just downside that the drone crashed, but I got all the shots I wanted from the drone. I'll probably go out in the next week to get stuff on the camera and with different lenses and stuff. Well, that's a weird twist on this vlog, isn't it? I know it's not nice having equipment crash like that and you know they cost thousands of pounds. But hopefully I can get it repaired. Yeah, guys, give it a like if you enjoyed it. And I'll see you in the next one on Sunday. Goodbye.